Todd Blanche emphasizes the importance of respecting individuals, especially those who have held leadership roles. They're laughing, Todd. They're laughing. How does that make you feel? Listen, they won today. They won today, and they're having their, their, their celebration, I'm sure, right now, and, and I suppose they're entitled to, to, to do that. I, I, I guess the way I would say about how it makes me feel is it kind of confirms the point in many ways, right? So the point that we've been saying that this is not fair, this is not what, what this country should be doing to its political leaders past and present. And, and then when you see it happen and when you see it celebrated and you hear laughter from the reporters at somebody who's just been convicted of, of, of 34 felonies, you know, and I said this in, in the trial, but it's true. President Trump is an amazing man. He, he's president, he's running for president and, and he has a public persona. He's also a husband, a father, a grandfather and a friend to a lot of people. And so when you see that happen to him, and I was standing right next to him today, and it's, it, it, it's heartbreaking because it's, you're, they're laughing, laughing at a man, at a father, at a husband, at a grandfather, and as somebody who's running for president and, and looks like will win, it's, it, that's something that people should be troubled with, no matter who you're gonna vote for. The disdain and disrespect directed at Donald Trump's situation are viewed as undermining the judicial process's integrity and the respect due to a former president. Criticisms that the judicial system is being weaponized align with conservative concerns about government overreach and maintaining fair and just legal institutions. Blanche's comments resonate with empathy and frustration. He seeks to remind the audience that politicians, including Trump, are also individuals with personal lives and emotions, which can foster a more nuanced perspective and evoke a stronger emotional response from those disengaged from political discussions. Blanche's remarks likely create an environment where concerns about bias and unfair treatment within the judicial system are acknowledged. Emphasizing respect for Trump as both a former leader and a human being aligns with conservative values of tradition, honor, and personal responsibility.